this is going to be kind of a weird video because I, like, I'm not one of those people that wants to do anything contrived or, or like, recreate something without you guys knowing it. So I'm kind of going to work backwards here, and I hope this makes sense. I have five pieces of brass. Now, I have manufactured what is going on here, but it is representative of what I was testing. So let me show you the brass, and then I'll tell you the test, and, and I'll kind of explain, and then you'll get to see the results. So I tumble in rice. Uh, that is my primary uh, media. I really like it uh, when it gets, you know, basically really, uh, you know, eventually it'll kind of get like really dark gray and, and then I know to throw it out and I've tested all kinds of rice and I've actually done quinoa and I've done long grain and that happens to be lucky number one sweet rice from uh, this huge uh, Japanese market because um, they've got great selection of rice and, uh, and I've tried a bunch of different rice anyway. Uh, so I, I like tumbling with rice, but here's what happens. And again, I've manufactured this so that you can see what happens. But this is exactly what happens to some of the brass when I uh, tumble in, in rice. Now, it's pretty rare. Uh, I would say, you know, out of 100, it's one or two. And usually it gets caught uh, because I'll go through and I'll inspect the brass as I'm, as I'm trimming it. Uh, and... And if, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I've always been worried, right? Because if, if this is in the flash pocket and somehow I miss it and I end up loading it, what is going to happen? Uh, you know, is it going to squib on me? Uh, is it just going to pop a primer and no powder is going to get ignited? Like what, what is the real result? So I was headed out to the thousand yard line and I just thought to myself, well, I'll pull five pieces of rice filled brass and load them up. So that's what I did. Now, again, this isn't them. This is just to show you uh, what it looked like, but this is very indicative of what the uh, flash pockets looked like or flash holes looked like uh, when I loaded them up. And I, I, again, I took them just like this, pushed in the primer, dropped in the powder, and away I went. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm making this video because I was shocked by the results. And, uh, it's just crazy. So I'm going to show you the results and I don't have me shooting them. So, you know, if you don't think this is real, that's fine. But uh, this is actually the screen record of me. Um, I just forgot to turn on the camera next to me, but this is the screen recording. And what you're going to see is I was fully convinced that one of two things was going to happen. Either it was going to hit the primer and nothing was going to get through the flash hole or something would get through and I'd probably have a lower velocity. So on my first shot that you're going to see, I aimed near the top of the backer board on the assumption that I was going to lose a couple minutes of, uh, of elevation. And keep in mind, my target board is only 36 inches square at, at a thousand yards. I don't use a six foot board. I only use a three foot board um, at a thousand yards. So I was holding at the top of the backer board, just hoping that I would hit it. And here's the results. I think you guys are going to be as shocked as I am. All right, you ready to see some rice bullets? Yeah, yeah. I'm Let curious. me start a new chronograph. <laughs> What's that? Let me oh. start a new series on oh, my lab doing radar. That now. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you, these are wedged pieces of rice. Like they're in there because they didn't come out when I tumbled it. So. Half of me says it won't even ignite the powder. <laughs> I think it's going to ignite and go like 150 feet slower. Yeah. That would be my second guess. Yeah, you might not get full combustion. <laughs> and I put on my glasses for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't even know if it'll hit the target. I'll aim at the top. No, There's no, no way it's going it. faster. Ten feet, wait. You gotta do all five. Yeah, yeah. And the ES is great. <laughs> Holy!
Shit! I gotta put rice in my case more often. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Not a bad group, John. <laughs> well, it was a five inch group. And the last one was 10 feet per second faster than the other four. And I still had an ES of 20. But if I take out the high, let's see, 48, so 38, 42, so there's four. And I had one, the first one was a little low, second one was a little high, but still. Well, it's good to know that in a match it wouldn't completely mess you up. Like that's, that was actually a really great test because it really inspires confidence that, uh, you know, if you miss a piece of rice, now I wish I had put that on camera. <laughs> You're the to... only guy I know that would test leaving rice kernels in. Yeah, it is shot a freaking nice group. <laughs> Why wouldn't you test it if it's a potential issue? I don't tumble with rice, so... Well, you should leave some stainless in and shoot it. <laughs> what could go wrong? Rice will burn. Yeah. Stainless steel pins will not burn. <laughs> they will exactly. bond. They will bond to your barrel. <laughs> Ask David how we know. <laughs> I'm actually pretty pumped about that rice test. I really wish I'd put that on camera. I'll have to do it again just to do a video on it. Uh, it's interesting to know though. It, I, you know, it makes me feel a lot better that if I, if I did miss something, yeah. that it would have a minimal impact. Yeah, look at all the stuff you're learning, Fred.